Hello everyone, this is Maxwell Jones and welcome to episode 4 of my regrowth series. Today we are looking a little further into Botania mod, trying to feed ourselves with more potatoes and maybe something else, who knows. For the next quest I need some day bloom. So how do we do that? It's in the petal apothecary with yellow, yellow, orange and blue petal. So let's see if we have that. We have yellow, we have orange, and we have light blue. Let's convert them into petals. And I need my bucket for water and I will take one more yellow. Where's the yellow here? Because I realized I could get two day blooms with that. And any kind of seed. Let me take the seed out of the carrots. Now let's fill the bucket of water to fill the apothecary and then drop the seeds into it. So yellow, yellow, orange, light blue and the carrot seed. Mm, it doesn't work. Why is that? It isn't light blue, it is cyan. Maxwell Jones Derp. Let me put those back in the chest. And let's see what we're going to do next, because I don't have any light blue. I wanted to move my trees on the other side of the wall. And I guess I'm going to do that now. Because it's using my grass patch and I had all the plans for it. I will remove those trees and let's meet on the other side. Alright, I'm back and on the other side of the wall. Let me dig a few holes and I will put my saplings there. And let's make one big tree here. It will be more efficient once I can cut the tree in one go. At the moment it isn't, but I will be ready then. So, one more here. Alright, I'm gonna finish planting my saplings and head back to the other side, empty in my inventory, and then we are going on with new quests. Alright, I'm back with my quest book and let's have a look around. So, this one we started already. What the world enables. Here we can make a snorkel. And here, crafting from memory. What is that? I get saplings and I need to do a work table. That seems pretty useful. Let's see how it's done. With a book, a crafting table and a chest. Fairly easy. I may have all the ingredients here in the chest. Let's have a quick look. So here's a book, a chest, and I need some wood to make the crafting table. I need to repair my axe to make the crafting table. That's it. Crafting table is done like so. And that's it. All right, work table, quest done. Let me claim the reward. What's next? Mm, better chests. Let's see. Improved chest MK1. How do we do that? Cobblestone, wood and wool. Pretty easy. Let's see. We also may have all what we need for that. Let's have a quick look. Here we have wood. We have two pieces of cobblestone. We will need four. Let me quickly grab some from down there. And here we go for the cobblestone. I guess I will also harvest those as they are lying here. Let's see. Yeah, it's night time. I can harvest the mandrakes. If you do harvest mandrakes at daytime, they may spawn some kind of monsters that are going to attack you. So that's not what I'm wishing at the moment. That's why I'm careful about harvesting the mandrakes. 
Now let's grab the string. I'm happy I got some spiders. With the string we are going to make some wool and with the wool we can finally do this improved chest. That's done. Now I would like to see if we have other quests available. If not, I uh, would like to expand a little bit my base. Right behind that wall I'm going to flatten the area and uh, yeah, build a new wall. Alright guys, I'm done with building a new wall. I was not expanding so much because I'm missing some basic materials. Uh, but that's gonna be enough for now. Uh, I will be able to plant some more seeds and uh, hopefully uh, reach 10, 10, 10 with those. Right, that's the last bit. Okay, I have no more cracked sand. Uh, I want to remove those yellow crosses. Remember, the yellow crosses uh, means monster spawn. And I do not want monster to spawn in my land. It's private. No monsters here. That's why I'm using torches. And the farm is going pretty well. A lot of things are growing here. Carrots, potatoes. All right, uh, let's get ready for this new line. First, I would like to empty my inventory as always. Cook potatoes. All what's living goes in here. Grab the bread first and yeah, stones here. Ah, I have some more cracked sand. I will be able to fill up a little more the gap down there. Maybe it's gonna look neat once it's flat. All right, that's done. And I'm going to get ready with the next line and I'll be right back. All right. So I'm finished, or you can still see me working. Uh, I'm finished basically with this line and let's choose which seed is going to go in there. The work table is going to go here. And let's see. We have carrots, potatoes, seeds. I think the only seed missing up there is the mandrake seed. I'm gonna grab first the potato there and yeah, that's the mandrake. So I'm thinking I want to empty the room here. I'm gonna take it all and it's gonna be much easier once everything is upstairs. Right, mandrake seeds. And I'm gonna drop it at the top of the line. As you see, I'm not harvesting the first crop, which is fully grown at the top of the line, because it is propagating to the next one. So I always need to have fully grown to be able to propagate to the next one and have more plants to harvest then. That's the way the mechanics works. Uh, let me finish in emptying my inventory and uh, let's see what is next. All right, let me think a little about the next step and I'll be back. Okay, I decided I'm going to go on with the quests. And the first one, I will need to get this sugar cane in order to make some more paper. If you remember, I had this quest where I need to do the map. Of course, the day bloom is still waiting and there is something else I really, really would like to do, uh, which is the Horn of the Wild. First, let's use this paper to finish that quest. Uh, where was it? Here. Um, cartography basics. Let me grab that. Paper. And the black dye. So I have the empty map, that's the quest completed. 
I'm getting a book and some more maps and I can make an atlas, that's great. Mm, right. I need a slotted book, which is done, it's just the book and a label. Let's do that. Empty map paper. Do I still have enough paper? Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna miss some paper for it, so that's gonna need to wait. Label is very easy, let's do that. The slabs and the label, label and a book, is this slotted book. So I'm gonna miss some paper. In the meantime, I'm gonna try to get my blue flower. Remember, uh, in the beginning of the episode, I needed this light blue flower. That's it. Exactly. And let's see if we can get another one. Right, so we prepare it. The so light blue flower, the this, the seeds. And let's do that. Light blue, orange, yellow, yellow, and seeds. And here we go. Uh, where's my bucket? I would like to do it one more time. No, not here, just in there. So, light blue, orange, yellow, yellow, and... No, not the bucket, but the carrot seeds. Here we go. Okay, let's look in the quest book. It should be completed. Yes, it is. All right, and we are getting some more day blooms. And now let's have a look at the Horn of the Wild. I think it is with living wood. Let me double check. Living wood and a pasture seed. Pasture seed. And my living wood. Here we go. Let's do that. Horn of the Wild is just amazing. It's gonna save me some time. And one of the forest. That should be also very easy. All right. Yeah, just living wood and petals. So, one, two, and three. And I need two petals as well. Here we are, a nice blue one. Okay, quest completed, great. Next I need a mana spreader and a mana pool. Mana pool is done with living rock, like so. And the mana spreader, if I remember well, it's like this and with a pedal in the middle. Let's see, correct. Okay, we can choose more the aha, there is another quest. I need a mana pool. So basically I need to gather mana in the first diluted mana pool, which is not that great. And then I can drop another diluted mana pool in this pool to be able to get the full working mana pool. Let's choose where it's going to be. It takes some space. I will need the mana pool. While I'm thinking where it's going to be, let me show you how the Horn of the Wild is working. Just like so. Very easy to harvest stuff, so be careful. You can uh, also harvest stuff you don't want to harvest. It can happen quite often when you're not careful by placing your stuff. But that's great. All right, it seems my inventory is full. Let me empty all of those flowers in this botania chest. You go, no, you stay here. 
You go too. And empty the last bit of flowers. All right, I decided I would like to go next to that wall. How it's going to work. So I'm gonna plant the day bloom. So I will make some holes here and plant my day blooms. And the day blooms will be linked to the mana spreader. And the mana spreader will drop the mana in the mana pool. From there, I will be able to make a couple of cool things. Of course, I need some dirt, so let me quickly grab it. And then I'm gonna plant my day blooms. What is important to know about day blooms is that they only produce mana in the daytime, not in the nighttime. For the nighttime, we have other kind of flowers that are called night something. So here we are with the dirt. Now the day blooms. What is also important to know is that they have uh, some kind of limited life so at some point they will decay and not be useful anymore all right the mana pool and the mana spreader all right and how does that work you will use your wand of the forest and um, you see those day blooms have a red cross means they are not linked so you will need to shift click on them to link them to the mana spreader like so now you see they will show a small V on them, which means that they are properly linked to the mana spreader. And of course they will not transmit anything yet, because the sun is not shining and they are day blooms. As the setup seems to be fine, uh, let's wait for the daytime. I'm going to make the second pool. Here we go, diluted mana pool. And this one I'm going to drop it in the mana pool once it's full. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and the pool is full and here we are. Claim reward. So I'm getting more day blooms because I know they will decay. And I would like to make some compost bins. Compost will be very useful. It will help my plants to grow faster. Compost. Sticks and slabs. That's also easy. Let me first make the sticks, like so, and for the slab I will need more wood, here we are, let's make some planks and slabs. I guess with six slabs I can make two compost bins, that's it. And I'm gonna drop them here. How does the compost work? Basically like the real compost. You will drop inside just anything organic. And you will get some compost as a reward. So let me grab some carrots, rotten potatoes, wheat, apples. And let's drop them in the compost. Of course you can also use seeds, bone meal. If you press shift you can see what goes inside. So, for example, those hydrogenas could go, the wheat, of course. But we are going to see all that in the next episode. So, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you were enjoying my episode. Feel free to leave a comment. And this is Maxwell Jones signing off. Have a great day. Maxwell Jones.